So you want to do the Hackenschmidt lift, you know that lift with the bar behind your body, you start from the floor, heels never touch the ground, the hands stay together behind your back, but you can't do that. Maybe you've got shoulder mobility issues, an old injury, but you still want to do something similar. That's it right there. Trap bar, Hackenschmidt lift. Let's take a look and see what this is. So some, some accounts say you're supposed to keep the heels together. Some don't bring it up at all, so it's kind of whatever you want to do. I like to try to make it harder, so I'm going to try to keep the heels together. Um, on the ball of the feet, I kind of shove the knees forward. I'm going to have to shove them back, obviously, because that's going to be in the way. But that's okay. It's still going to get quite a quad burn. Uh, just don't let the heels touch the floor. So let's see how this goes. This is um, 120 pounds. <sighs> There you go. It's much easier than a regular Hackenschmidt lift. Not just because the mobility, but your, your strength is better, your angle of pull. I don't believe I've ever done 120 with a regular barbell one. But if it's an option you want to try, it's right here as long as you got a trap bar or a hex bar. Let me know what you guys think.